coverage tonight of the winter weather hitting our area. Storm Tracker 13's Mike Everett is live in northern El Paso County. But first, let's get to Angelica Lombardi, and she's in Colorado Springs finding out what the city is trying to do to keep all those drivers safe if they have to, have, have to head to work tomorrow. Angelica? Gray, you can see the snow has clearly started to pick back up again. It's now starting to pile up out here on the roads, and the roads are starting to ice over. The city, though, does have its entire staff out here working tonight, plowing these roads, helping to make your Monday commute a little easier. Icy and snowy roads calls for extra help. The city has all 45 plows working against the storm. Continue a full call out uh, after midnight to ensure Monday morning's commute goes well. We'll be concentrating on the schools and, and helping the school districts out also. Slick roads caused accidents throughout the day. Icy and a little dicey, but not anything big. Drive 25 to 35 and you're fine. Roads froze over fast. The problem is when it freezes, all the people that don't know how to drive in it are really going to have a problem. Crews are making sure problematic areas are plowed and sanded first. Primaries are our main streets that we do. You know, Academy Boulevard, Austin Bluffs, Union, uh, Circle. Another problem spot was the Broadmoor Bluffs area where crews had to send extra trucks out. Drivers taking it slow. That's pretty much uh, what we get used to in Colorado. And making the most of the situation. I honestly love the snow. I'm super excited for it. I'm really hoping that I get school canceled tomorrow. If you have to travel, the city wants to remind drivers to make room for city plows. Don't crowd them. You know, don't try to pass them. They're out there for a reason. We're trying to make it safe for all the citizens, you know, to get around. Again, the city has all of their plows out here working tonight to help clean these roads, and they anticipate to be out all of Monday as well. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Angelica Lombardi, KRDO News Channel 13. Angelica, thank you so much.